Oh, uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, recently, I posted a video on secularism, and it started to... It made me think um, that perhaps I should start posting more videos on, uh, on this topic. Um, mostly, I was just thinking... Um, of the American version of, of secularism, um, uh, something coined by Thomas Jefferson, the um, separation of church and state, and what that what that meant. Um, so um, I remembered from my research days at university uh, studying um, the various revolutionary constitutions, and um, well, anyhow, uh, the New York Constitution of 1777 came to mind. And so I screwed around on the internet until I could find the articles, which I found. And I'll throw the links down, down, I don't know, I'll figure, I'll figure it out. It's down there somewhere. But anyhow, there's links to stuff. Uh, basically, um, the Revolutionary Constitution of New York um, guaranteed freedom of religion, um, you know, provided you didn't, you know, burn buildings down or kill people or whatever you can worship whatever you wanted um but the the revolutionary constitution of new york went a little bit further um and something that you know today would just be would not be tolerated which is really strange considering this is actually a revolutionary constitution of of america of an american state and um but anyhow it, it went it went further than just saying okay there's going to be a separation of church and state it, it basically said that if you're a member of the clergy of any faith, any faith whatsoever, you could be a Muslim, you could be um, a rabbi, you could be a member of a church or whatever, any church, Catholic, it doesn't matter. Um, you cannot serve as an elected representative, nor can you uh, be um, a member of the armed forces of the revolutionary state of New York. And the justification for this was um, basically that you're not serving the state, you're serving God. So, I, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, you can read the links down below. Um, I don't see how people, and you know, because I've had conversations with people around here, around where I live, which is... Uh, um, Idaho, which is a state that's kind of shaped like a handgun, if you look at the map. Handgun pointed at Canada. Uh, poor Canada. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'll look at those things, comment or whatever. I don't know.